about 20 years experience in carpentry and everything related. Um, about seven, seven years of uh, framing and building homes. Um, yeah, I was there, ground man, cutting plywood on the ground, in the cold, whatever weather was out there, I was out there and cutting plywood, pushing lumber, you know, taking down forms for foundation, you know, uh, so uh, then I got into a little bit of a, just a remodeling handyman work because I uh, got a licensed contractor but um, but I've done it so hoping that um, that I can get you guys some footage um, like and subscribe trust me when I tell you that um, if you guys are starting out and whatnot, or you know, or wanting to do handyman work and um, what do you call it? Home improvement. Okay. So I have a lot of experience and. Um, and I probably can show you guys, gals, guys and gals, show you, show everyone on some tricks, you know, how I do it my way, working with what I got, and um, as, as I grow, your guys are going to grow with me. Because there's going to be some changes, going to be a lot of good stuff that I'm going to be doing, and you know, um, I want you guys to be part of the process, and you know, let's take this ride, and, and I'll show you, show you the some of the things that I find um, are somewhat safer, better, for handling lumber, loading. Everything from from how I do it, from learning from you know our mistakes. Um, not to say that we won't make mistakes, but um, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this with no fear. And I don't mean no fear doing crazy stuff. I'm saying no fear getting it done, getting it done right, you know. Trust me, I've seen I've seen a lot of bad work out there. Uh, I worked for a uh, a builder uh, for about seven, eight years. Uh, Really great boss. He was uh, he was actually an architect, um, and um, really smart guy. But let me tell you, swinging a hammer, working on the site, different ball game. Well, uh, uh, he was always uh, with the uh, with the. Uh, you get that black blood blister underneath your nails. Oh my god. Poor guy. I felt bad for him. Oh, he's smashing his fingers, man. Um, I had an apprentice. Uh, young guy. I had two of them. That uh, my boss hired. I didn't hire him. My boss hired him. And uh, he just threw him with me and had me show him the ropes, you know, and uh, this is when I was doing framing. Uh, long story short, uh, we were out there in the uh, middle of the winter, really cold, 16, 16 degrees.
degrees and dropping. We worked until the compressor didn't work. Okay, that, that, that's how I worked. Once the compressor stopped working and it got all froze up and everything, that was it, end of the day. But anyway, the apprentice, uh, good guys, you know, I like teaching people. Um, you shot me in the foot with a nail gun. <laughs> oh, man. I had to make a uh, hand nail for, for, uh, for a while. So, you know, that's how, it was just a clumsy kid, and I had another kid, an apprentice, he was, uh, out of, uh, carpentry trade school, he was pretty good, he was pretty good, but someone that, you know, comes in with no experience at all, and, uh, his shoes were like twice the size of his feet, which made him trip, uh, trip everywhere, tripping on every, all everywhere. Now back then, you know, we didn't have a lot of cordless power tools. We had a lot of extension cords, a lot of um, um, air hose lines everywhere. You know, it's uh, it's framing. You know, it's 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 the real deal. You know, you want to get your foot in the door. Know, get some experience, just start with some framing, you know, and then you move up, you know, framing, carpentry, remodeling, trim, you know, and then uh, <laughs> you get, a, you get uh, up there in your age like me, you know, you, you start doing more, uh, more trim and uh, you know precise jobs and stuff. Or more finish work. Cabinets, trim, ground molding, door installs. But anyway, just kind of want to let you guys know who I am and what I do, and uh, it's going to be a lot of good stuff, you know, that uh, you know, I'm going to be doing, and uh, I want you guys to be, you know, part of it, you know, um, you know, so, you know, I, I know a few things, I know a few things, I got some skills. It's gonna be, you know, I got a, I got some uh, projects in the, uh, I got a few projects in the works, you know. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, cha making changes, you know. I'll be making changes and. Uh, Changed my truck. Well, it's it's uh, working out of my SUV, and I kind of like it. I kind of like it because it's it's compact, and for doing handyman work, you show up. You know, you don't need a whole lot. You know, you just need a little bit of know-how. You know, change fixtures and, and uh, fix a door, bad locks, rekey a lock, or whatever the job may be. Uh, I can probably do everything that I need to do out of this. But anyway, somewhere down the road, there will be changes. Because um, I do have a... I got a shed that I have my uh, table saw. I brought on Craigslist. And... And... Um, I did get a... Planer. I don't even know if it works. I haven't even looked at it. I haven't even plugged it in. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna work on that. We're gonna 
we're going to start off the saw, put a blade on there, maybe uh, uh, a, uh, what do you call it, the splitter knife, so when you're running boards, long boards, don't bind up on you or kick back, you know, you know, stuff like that. All that good stuff, all that good stuff. I got a lot of good stuff uh, that, uh, that I'll be working on. Right now I got a bathroom, a bathroom demo, shower stall, possibly tiling. Um, there's some uh, water leaks. Uh, I guess it's a new new uh, new owner, and the house has probably been there for a while. I don't know if the pipes froze or whatever, but. Uh, we got some uh, some water leaks that um, that she wants to take care of now. Um, there is going to be a plumber there, okay? And I'm going to be doing the demo um, for the shower, and we'll see. Possibly retiling or um, retiling. Uh, see what she wants to do. We'll find out. Um, you know. Put the fixtures. And uh, she's got like, some other stuff going on. She's got a little bit of everything because she just bought the house. So. And uh, what else do I got going on? I got um, oh, I got a, a another customer and um, nice lady I've been doing work for her for about two years uh, she has a rental property uh, I'm going to be going over there and uh, changing the locks um, I think uh, I think it's a, it's like a like a, a what do you call it a Kind of like a log cabin type of house, but her, her back, her kitchen, her door in the back of the kitchen is kind of like a. It's just a. It almost looks like a bar, like a very bad barn door. It's not secure. So, and I mentioned to her that um, let's replace the door. Because it was kicked in, it was a rental property, so you know. So, and then uh, some patching, she brought work and stuff like that. So, so got a couple jobs going on right now, and uh, so so I'm recording this. So, you, my friends, get to know me, follow me, I'm sure that I'll have, I'll have a lot of tips and tricks along the way, okay? And you know what, you know, um, We'll fix it. We'll make it. We'll make it good. You know, when I was doing framing uh, 20 years ago, I started framing. Uh, you learn to get better and better. Starting with framing, you have a a, a, a little window of your tolerances and cutting boards, you can be off an eight, three eighths, you know, and then when you get into the, uh, uh, plywooding and, and, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, building a house, your tolerances get closer and smaller, you get, you get tighter tolerances, and, uh, um, then when you get, you know, you learn, you learn, by the time you do your finish, finished work, hopefully, you know, your, your tolerance will be like right on the money.